Hi, I'm Brian, a co-founder of Project OWL, the organization that created and open sourced the Clusterduck protocol. In this video, I'm gonna give you a brief background on the Clusterduck protocol or CDP, what it is, what it can do, and how you can use it to build communications and sensing networks in your community. The Clusterduck protocol is an open source firmware for mesh network devices that can be loaded onto a variety of small electronics or IoT boards to quickly turn those devices into a duck. A mesh network node that can be customized, integrated with sensors, and is also ready to wirelessly connect with other ducks in range to form a mesh network. We originally developed the CDP to address a couple challenges we saw specifically in our own lives, but we believe that these problems we saw are also a problem for communities around the world. In the wake of Hurricane Harvey in Texas, Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, and Hurricane Florence in the Carolinas, we saw that one of the largest problems standing in the way of recovery is the destruction of communications networks and the lengthy and expensive process to bring them back. This inspired us to make a cheap, easy to use and fast method to bring online basic communications infrastructure through battery or solar powered wireless devices. Since then, we have expanded our focus to build for additional disasters beyond hurricanes, such as earthquakes, wildfires, and flooding. Similarly, even in the absence of a hurricane, there are many communities around the world that do not have effective telecommunications infrastructure. This makes responding to disasters, whether they are natural or man-made, a challenge. And even more so, a community with substandard communications infrastructure makes difficult community organization requesting medical assistance or mobilizing a unified response during a global virus pandemic like what is occurring right now. So, to solve this, we developed the ClusterDuck protocol, which was officially open sourced under the Linux Foundation in March of 2020. The CDP was developed mostly in C++, though it also leverages HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other languages, and is developed in the Arduino IDE. While we currently use this environment, there are other IDEs that can be used to code and deploy from, such as Platform.io. Using an IDE such as Arduino, we can deploy the CDP to a variety of electronics boards, including Heltec ESP32s, TTGO ESP32s, and LoPi 4s, as well as more boards that we're finding every day. The only requirement for the CDP to function properly are a microcontroller, in many cases the ESP32, and a Wi-Fi, a Bluetooth, and a LoRa module. LoRa is a long-range, low-power radio protocol that in the United States operates at 915 megahertz and provides a much longer range connectivity than Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. We do use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, however, to provide you the ability to connect with standard consumer electronics and interface over these connectivities to things like a phone or a laptop. Loading the CDP onto electronics can turn these devices into ducks that will sync with others in networked clusters to form the ClusterDuck network. Project OWL has deployed ClusterDuck networks around the world in test and production environments with a current focus on Puerto Rico. Our solar powered off telecom networks in Puerto Rico reach across several locations and we are looking to find more universities, companies, and individuals interested in building ducks to improve connectivity. We have developed variants to the CDP that include ducks for monitoring hazardous gases, ducks for monitoring weather, ducks that operate at high altitude on atmospheric balloons, and more ducks that we're inventing all the time. So now you kind of know what the CDP does. If you want to go ahead and build your own duck, go ahead and catch Timo Wielink in the next video as he introduces how to load up this firmware onto a duck device. Thank you.